what's up, y'all? Welcome to another powerful presentation brought to you by Free Thoughts TV. I'm your host, Daniel X. And today, we're going to be talking about indoor air pollution. Yes, please don't take it lightly. This is something very, very serious to our health. Let's get it on. So, what is air pollution? Air pollution is dust, dirt, even gas that's in the air inside a building, such as our home and workplace. It's very harmful for us to believe breathe <laughs> there are microscopic particles in the air gases like carbon monoxide nitrogen and microplastics i repeat microplastics are contained in the air of households and buildings according to the epa environmental protection so here's some primary sources of indoor air pollution they're in the office living room garage basement bedroom bathroom kitchen so pretty much Everywhere air is, there's probably some pollution there. Uh, I got some examples coming up. Let's check it out. These are some silent contaminants. Dryers, believe it or not. Lights, put pollution in the air, right? Radiation from your phones and computers and even your routers. Now check this one out. Your manure, your shit from vapors in the toilet. Yes, that's polluting the air. And your carpet, whether it be new or, or you know, used one, is putting out vapors that are polluting the air and other particles. So make sure that we're cleaning them. Then they, we got furnaces that we need to keep warm in the winter, right? That's a primary source of air pollution. And then, of course, we keep electric cords all around the house. And uh, maybe we should do a little better job because that also is a contributor to air pollution, so here's some uh, health effects long term that uh, if it goes unchecked or uh, unnoticed, here's some things that you could uh, bet on happening to someone you, like you or someone you know. There's depression. There's viruses in the air. Stuff in the air that can make you uh, be drowsy or fatigue. There's respiratory irritation because of the air. Eye, skin, and nasal irritation. Like it can be disguised as like allergies, right? Then you can get headaches and then the most most biggest thing disease and cancer yeah you heard me so if you don't do nothing about your air quality you will be in trouble with some type of lung disease or some type of cancer long term so make sure you take this serious so here's some ways that we can reduce air pollution right open up the windows get some fresh air let your house breathe okay make sure we're diligent about changing our air filters and the most important thing that we all do is uh, we spray air freshener. Don't do it. Open the windows or find a better ventilation um, purpose because covering up the odors is actually, actually contributing to the pollution. So you want to make sure you're vacuuming, of course. We do that, but we make sure we stay on top of that. And when we're dusting and, and taking care of cleaning, make sure we're using a microfiber dusting cloth. You'll be surprised what's on top of the surface and high touch points. It's probably just crazy if we had a magnifying glass or some black light so we also can use humidifiers or air purifiers it doesn't cure it all it does not take care of it all you still have to do other things to make sure that your air is clean and that includes <laughs> fresh air right and then we can buy house plants as you see the one i have listed here that's the most effective one at 80 percent doing the most effectiveness with uh, air pollution so it's something to take serious um you don't want to smoke in the house as much as uh people like uh i know uh, we like to smoke, but uh, it's not smart because that's adding to the pollution, too, and we're not uh, getting the proper ventilation. So you want to make sure you're investing into uh, keeping your air clean, especially for your children. They're the most affected because they're the lowest to the ground. And like I said, the thought of just breathing in plastic should make you want to get up out of your seat and immediately do something about it, um, especially for your loved ones like your children or your parents or grandparents because you want to stay safe at all times, especially right now with viruses and all kinds of stuff going around in this season. So now that I've just wrapped that up and again under five minutes, now you know indoor and outdoor pollution is a silent Decepticon, and please take it seriously. Um, it can also, you know, cause stuff like, asthma and stuff to be worse it can be disguised as allergies but little do you know that your air is actually polluted so that's it for me i hope y'all get something out of this watch this back take a look at the epa yourself and see what they have to say on indoor air pollution and uh spread the word make sure you like and uh and share if you can you know to spread the word and then next time we'll do it again y'all be safe be easy
we out.